Well, over a week away from the F1 Las Vegas Grand Prix and after the traffic nightmare leading up to the race, many are wondering how they're going to get around this trip on race weekend. Today, we got a more complete schedule of the closures on F1 days. Wednesday through Sunday, the circuit will close in the wee hours of the morning and then early evening into the wee hours of the next morning. Tow trucks will be on standby to remove cars parked along the circuit inside that window. Fox 5 has team coverage for you tonight. Jacqueline is standing by with more on how visitors can get around on race weekend. But first, let's go live out to Mike Allen on this trip tonight. He has more on the transportation plans for more than 100,000 people who work on this trip. Mike? Yeah, John, some of those folks who work on the strip are going to be able to park as usual in their normal parking garages adjacent to the properties they work at. But most strip workers are going to have to be parking away from the strip in lots like the one behind me at the Las Vegas Convention Center and then shuttle in. I feel nervous, but everything will be okay. Strip workers are preparing for one of the most hectic weeks the boulevard has ever seen. I live in Southwest Vegas, so it's probably going to take me a couple hours to get here versus the usual 20 minutes it usually takes. <laughs> Not only is traffic a concern when F1 takes over the strip for the Las Vegas Grand Prix, but parking could wind up being a big headache for the people who commute there every day. Here's a quick rundown of the plan while the racing track is hot meaning a racing event is happening on the strip. Caesars employees will have the option of parking on the property as normal or at the Las Vegas Convention Center with a shuttle to Caesars or at the Rio where there will be another shuttle to Caesars. MGM's plan is similar with some employees parking on site and some parking remotely and taking a shuttle. These other properties are using parking lots off the strip, primarily at the Convention Center and shuttling employees in from there. The list includes the Venetian and Palazzo, Casino Royale, the Westin, Ellis Island, and Hilton Grand Vacation Clubs. Strip employees will receive parking placards for those designated lots, and they'll also get free monorail passes to use for the whole week, which they can use instead of the shuttle. The monorail will be operating 24 hours during Formula One, with the maximum number of eight trains on the tracks during those peak shift change hours. For strip workers who were maybe a little weary from all the delays caused by preparation for F1, Hard time for the last two months because a lot of street closing, construction. The ones I talked with are staying optimistic. I'm a little nervous, but I think Venetian really has it under control and they're doing the best that they can do with the circumstances. On Thursday, there will be a test of this transportation plan. Reporting live tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And here's a look at the shuttle schedule for workers parking in those remote lots. It's going to run from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday and from 3 p.m. to 4 a.m. from Thursday through Saturday.